Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example from CBSE Class 10, 2024-25 Sample Question Paper for Mathematics Standard with Subject Code 041. Now, this question is from Pair of Linear Equations in Two Variables Chapter. Places A and B are 180 kilometers apart on a highway. One car starts from A and another from B at the same time. If the car travels in the same direction at different speeds, they meet in 9 hours. If they travel towards each other with the same speeds as before, they meet in an hour. What are the speeds of the two cars? So let us try to understand the question first. There are two places A and B which are 180 kilometers apart. Now there is a car which is at point A and there is a car at point B. Now here onwards the question gets divided into two cases. So let me write the given data first. Now here in the question it is mentioned that the cars have different speeds. So here we have written, let the speed of car at place A be equal to x km per hour and speed of car at place B be equal to y km per hour. Now we have divided into two cases. So here you can see we have written case 1 and case 2. In the first case, we can see that the two places are marked, that is A and B, and they are 180 km apart. And here they have mentioned that the cars travel in the same direction but at different speeds. So here you can see we have drawn the direction in which they are moving. So both the cars are moving in the same direction with speed x and speed y. Now here they have also mentioned that if they are traveling in the same direction they meet in 9 hours. Now in the case 2 they have given that the cars are traveling towards each other. So you can see the direction here. Car at place A is moving towards the right and car at place B is moving towards the left. So they are moving towards each other but the speeds need to be maintained as it was in the case 1 as it is given in the question. So here again for car at place A we have given x km per hour as the speed and for car at place B as y km per hour. So here if they are moving towards each other they are going to meet in an hour. But if they are going in the same direction they are going to meet in 9 hours. So here we are going to make use of distance, speed and time formula. So we have, so distance is equal to time multiplied with speed. Now here we are going to start with the case 1. So let us start by finding out distance covered by car at place A in 9 hours. So here we are going to multiply the time it takes to meet car B, that is 9 hours, times the speed of car at place A is x. So the distance covered by car at A in 9 hours is 9x kilometer. The same thing repeats for the car at place B. So distance covered by car at B in 9 hours is 9 times y kilometers, making use of this formula. But the total distance to be covered is 180 kilometers. And since they are moving in the same direction, the car at place B goes beyond 180 kilometers. So here we have to subtract the distance covered by car B from distance covered by car A to get a total distance of 180 kilometer. So here we have written the total distance covered when the cars travel in the same direction is 180 km. So distance covered by car at place B should be subtracted from distance covered by car at place A. And the total should give you 180 km. Now here let us plug in the values of distance covered for A and B. So we have distance covered by car at place A is 9x minus distance covered by car at place B is 9y is equal to the total distance 180. Now here 9 is a common factor so we have taken it out and inside the bracket remains x minus y equal to 180. Now taking 9 on the other side it divides 180. So 180 divided by 9 we get x minus y is equal to 20 because 9 1 times is 9 and 9 20 times is 180. Now once we do this we are going to consider this as equation 1. Now following the same steps we are going to move on with the case 2. Now here we have considered the case 2 again where the cars are moving towards each other. So here let us write down the distance covered by the car at place A and place B. So here the distance covered by car at place A in 1 hour because if they were moving towards each other it was mentioned that they are going to meet in 1 hour. That is by making use of this formula distance equal to time multiplied with speed. The time here is 1 hour and the speed of car at place A is x. So 1 times x gives us x kilometer and the distance covered by car at B in 1 hour is going to be 1 times y which is y kilometer. Now the total distance covered when the cars travel in opposite direction is going to be 180 kilometers and since 
they are moving towards each other they cover a total distance of 180 km so here the distance covered by car at place a and car at place b are going to be added up together so here we have written distance covered by car at a plus distance covered by car at b is equal to 180 km now substituting the values that is distance covered by car at place a is x and the car at place b is y we get x plus y is equal to 180 now let us consider this as our equation 2 now let us consider the equation 1 and equation 2 together now here we are going to add them together so x minus y is equal to 20 was our first equation and x plus y is equal to 180 is our second equation now adding them together we can see that x plus x is 2x minus y and plus y will cancel out each other and 20 plus 180 will give us 200 Now taking 2 on the other side of equal to sign 200 gets divided by 2 so we get the speed of the car at place A as 100 km per hour Now making use of this value let us find out the value of y Now for that I'm going to consider the equation 2 So here we have written x plus y is equal to 180 Now x value is 100 so we have substituted it over here plus y equal to 180 Now taking 100 on the right hand side we get y is equal to 180 minus 100 so the speed of the car at place b is equal to 180 minus 100 that is 80 kilometers per hour so we have found out the speeds of the car at place a and car at place b i hope you have understood all the steps and like the video and if you found this video useful then you can click on these playlist where you will find more examples of these kind and if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching